Hello, my name is Barb Owen of HowToGetCreative.com and in this video I'm going to just be decorating some sheets of paper. And the reason I'm doing that is because there is a, an organization in the town where I live that is called Pascal's Pals and it's an organization that supports um, families and of sick children who are hospitalized for long periods of time and so they have an auction every year so what i'm going to do to it is a contribution for their auction is i'm going to take some of these notebooks which are moleskin cahier notebooks and they're just lined notebooks there is something you can stick in a backpack or a purse or you know you can even in some cases stick them in a pocket or you can put them in a, um, a folio so you can have multiples in there but anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these and I'm going to make papers decorative papers and I'm going to cover the outsides of them so that they look nice so I'm going to take do that with several sheets of paper so what I'm going to be using is this is an egg carton plastic egg carton and inside here I have paste art paste and this is the art paste that I'm using it's from Elmer's glue company and it is paper mache art paste this comes as a powder I have videos on this whole process step by step I've done them I've streamed them and I've also got two separate full-length video classes so you can check that out I'll try to remember to link that in the description box below this video so these containers have um, the following colors just to give you an idea I have metallic aquamarine from folk art and I have plum also from folk art that's this color and that color and then the rest of the colors are dilutions uh, there is crushed grape periwinkle so this is crushed grape periwinkle this is vibrant turquoise which is this one that I squirted a little bit of metallic pearl white from folk art this is an outdoor it's just something I've had forever I decided to use it so I lightened the vibrant turquoise just a little bit this is bubblegum pink here this is vanilla custard that I added a little bit of metallic gold into and this one is rose quartz and so I've just mixed them up they're thin they're about the consistency of maybe chocolate syrup if you know what that is uh, the paper is Canson mixed media paper it's 98 pound and the size is I think 14 by 18 or something like that I don't know it's a big big piece of paper it will accommodate two books if I put a book here and wrap the cover it will accommodate one that way and another one over here I'm going to use this one I bought two of so I'm going to just put some of these on the plates and I'm just going to use that and so you can just watch and see see what happens here but the whole point of this is just to get some paint on this background so I have some place to begin And if I get too much paint on the plate, um, I'll just roll it off on one of the other pieces of paper that you'll see in just a minute. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to start putting some of this on here. So all I'm after here is just a little bit of color. So I'm going to move this piece of paper off, bring in another one. I'm just going to clean off the brayer. All right, so let's go with some pink, pink flash, and I'm going to have to get another color here just because I need another color. You know, one color is never enough. Nope, two colors is never enough. A bunch of colors it's always better it's always better 
Okay, so just getting some color on there, so we're going to set that aside. And let's just use this again. Whoops, that's a lot of paint. Tiny plates, tiny amounts of paint are required. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this really lightly. This one is Aqua Flash. These are pretty interesting paints. Um, this is a bit of a waste to use them in this way because I'm going to cover up most of this, but you never know what you might see, and uh, so you might as well use something interesting, you know? And then we have this one, which I just cleaned the brayer off on, and I'll switch again to a different shape. And this time I think I'll stick with this aqua flash for a minute. And then I will go to, what else do I have? I have a purple flash. Okay. So that'll give us, that'll give it something to, um, to start with. All right, so we have an underlayer of something, some paint and, and some shape. So I'm now going to bring in my paint. So this is the paste. I call it paste paint because it has the art paste in combination with the paint. I have foam brushes. I have one for each color. So I'm just going to get a color here and I'm just going to spread some on and we're just going to go for it and see what happens. And um, while this is wet, I'm going to pattern it. And I have a piece of um, paper towel that I'm just going to clean off this tool a little bit and then add another color. Normally I'm working on eight and a half by 11 sheets and so I put all the paint on it all at once and then do all the pattern work. But that's not going to be happening on this because the sheets are too big. So I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, so that was um, two bubblegum pink and peony pink. And so I'm just going to turn it this way. And let's add some of this um, metallic purple color. Now the first layer of color when I do the paste paint is, is always just kind of like, mm. I'm not going to like this. That's always how I feel about it. It's like, oh, I'm not going to like this. I'm not going to like it. It's the second and third layers of color that make a huge difference. That's where it begins to take on the interesting design and pattern and See if I can get all this in one more, one more go. And I'm just wiping, I'm just wiping the tools off on my paper towel over here. Just get the excess paint off. Okay, so that's all that's going to happen for layer number one. I'm just going to set this off. All right, let's 
This time I'm going to use this, which is the vanilla custard and has some gold paint in it. When you're working quickly, you can splatter it, which means you can splatter your clothes. You can splatter electronics. <laughs> you can splatter a lot of stuff. And then maybe... draw through that a little bit so we have a couple of layers of stuff going on right. this is the vibrant turquoise that has some of that pearl white mixed into it okay um let's use the wedge of the this is that style stick but the wedge the other one was the round one So that's that one. So we're going to set that aside. And but I love the way that the, the paint, when it has the art paste in it, will hold the shapes. Now. Okay, this is the vanilla custard and the gold. Okay. Let's... All right, so we're gonna call that good for this one. This one, this paint, this color is needing to be thinned out a little bit more with the art paste. It's a little opaque. Do some of this. Yeah, not my favorite, but you know, hey, it's it's okay. You just got to keep going. Got to keep going, not sweat it, not worrying about. Maybe this really light pink. Okay, good enough. But you can see, um, even though there's a layer of paint on here, you can see over here on these two sections, you can see the under shapes kind of coming up through it. Over here, it's pretty opaque, so, you know, I'm losing all that. But, you know, that's what happens. So now we're going to come in with the next color. And I'm going to put white on top of this just because I want to see if I can lighten that up a little bit. And I usually do at least two to, well, I always do two colors of paint. Sometimes I do three. And now we'll um, pattern it a different way. Plum color, which I think is what that was. Some of that over here. Okay, so we're gonna put that down to dry. But I'm gonna use this white again because I really like what that white did. Use that over here. Really. 
So that's all I'm going to do on this one. I'm going to use some of the metallic purple. Okay. Vibrant turquoise. And you can see I'm not even worrying about um, even layers or even coat of paint you don't need to because as you draw through it it will even all that stuff out next color let's go for over here i'm going to use some of this vanilla custard with the gold in it Hmm, I'm liking that a lot. Okay, we're gonna put this one aside. Okay. I've added a little bit of this is Americana Antique Gold, and I've just squirted some into one of the places here, which happens to have a little purple in it, so that could do interesting things because it's got purple in there. So I'm just mixing some of the art paste into it. And let's try it out here and see what it does. I'm going to use this metallic purple. Again, sometimes I do stuff, make marks in it just simply to mess up some perfect shape because it's like no nope, too perfect there too perfect put some of that gold and we're gonna let that be as it is for now and I'm just gonna use this the side of this sponge is soft, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> Clearly, I did not clean those, clean these sponges. So that is just a little bit of stamping. And then I'm going to come in with um, the Slick Rider, Slick Tulip Slick Dimensional Fabric Paint. And I'm just going to draw some big old loopy flowers because it's my, it's my favorite my favorite shape and so that is where this one is going to now sit and it's going to dry so just adding paint onto the stamp. Again, you kind of have to prime these foam stamps a little bit.
that's okay. That's, that's, I like that. Something that looks kind of painterly, you know? All right, so now let's go back. We've got this black paint on the palette and let's do some dots. So what I have here is some cobalt teal. This is golden fluid acrylic cobalt teal. So that's what we've got going on. Just added a little turquoise something something around it. So I'm going to put this um, white pearl on this. Boy, just, just really not enough over here. But it's good enough for um, what I wanted, which was to tone it down. So we're going to just let that live like that. have another fine line applicator bottle this one is um, this one has diary light yellow in it another one of the things I really like are big are spirals big spirals this is a white Posca paint pen this is a PC dash M5 kind of a big bullet point big bullet tip so let's just do some dots. Okay, we're gonna let this one live. Probably do. This is an inexpensive stamp from, I think it was Michael's, maybe Hobby Lobby, I don't know. Yeah, like that. Okay. So. so, we have an overall pattern. I love how the layering in the background from the paste paper turned out on that one. This is the one that, we, that I stamped with the butterfly stamp. This is the one that was my least favorite, which is now probably my best, my most favorite. I'll probably Here are the finished journals. After the paper was thoroughly dried, then I cut it in half. And from every sheet of paper, which the paper started at 14 inches by 17 inches, from every sheet of paper that I painted with the, the paste paint, um, paste paper paint, I got two journals covered and these measure about five inches by about eight inches and so I just thought I'd show them to you so this is from one sheet of paper each one I have selected a word and I've taken those words from the Mandal of Madness inspiration cards these are my cards you can find a link to those in the description box below the video and I really enjoy using the cards as art supplies as well as the, for inspiration for the mandalas and and instructions on the back for working with mandalas you know just in case you get stuck drawing a mandala just different ideas so there's a suggestion for adding to your mandalas on every card there's also a quote but then there's an inspirational word on both sides of each card and I've shown this a lot, but I'm going to keep showing it because there's always somebody that's never seen it before. You can just easily split these apart. So they easily peel apart. Then you can use both sides of every card. And the advantage to this is this is a printed process. And these are also, the paper has also been finished. So the, um, the ink never runs. So it's great for using on your journals and it has a nice glossy finish and it just it just makes a great title for anything. 
or to use in your art journals or journal page writing journals and so forth so anyway that's where these came from and so within each journal out of the paper I also had enough room to get an ATC which contains the information about these journals their moleskin Kaye journals and what it was created for and I went through each journal and did some random stamping every few pages. I stamped a quote or a, um, you know, a word or something just so that the pages weren't completely blank. And some of the p stamping is not perfect. And, you know, that's just, it's a hand created journal. And then also there was enough on every paper, uh, painted paper to get a bookmark. So there's that one. It's funny how different these turned out. These are from the exact same piece of paper. There's the ATC for this one. And again, the stamping and the bookmark. Here are these two. So journey and dream, desire. And the bookmark at the back is faith. And then again, just a little bit. And this, the stamping turned out so bad on this one that I just went over it with a pen. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, that's what I did. Here are Inspire and Delight. This was the one with the big loopy flowers on it. I love, this was my least favorite color, this blue. And I love how these turned out. Once you cut them down, any of these papers, when you cut them down, it's amazing how great they look once you cut them down. It's it's pretty pretty remarkable. See, I just think that turned out so well. Hmm. Yeah, fun. So anyway, there's some of the stamping in that one, just to color the pages a little bit. Here's this one, Timeless. The name of this one is Delight. Timeless and Wish on the bookmark these two and these I just I love the color combination of these personal preference so there's the ATC with the information and the bookmark and I stamped different colors of ink you know depending on what the ink what the predominant color was in the journal in the painted paper for the cover so there are eight, I got eight journals out of those four pieces of paper. And they are all ready to go um, as my contribution for supporting Pascal's Pals. So that is it. I just thought I would uh, let you see how they turned out. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to get creative today because you know it's easy. And I'll see you next time.